Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to erase all of the data from any Mac. So this is going to apply to any Mac computer. So that includes the Mac Studio, Mac Mini, iMac. But today we're going to be doing this on this MacBook Air. So the process is going to be very straightforward. I'm going to show you the entire way of how to do this. And by the end of it, what you're going to have is a fully reset MacBook. So you can go ahead and sell this MacBook if you want to, give it to someone else. That means that none of your data is going to be left on this computer. So you want to make sure that you have any important data backed up because after this process, all of your data is going to be completely erased. So if you haven't done so already, you can go to General, you can go to Time Machine, and you can attach a solid state drive or something like that and then do a time machine backup, make sure all of your data is safe because after this, everything's going to get deleted. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the top left hand side of the screen up here, click on this Apple logo, and then we want to go to system settings. And after system settings is up here, what we want to do is to go to general here, and then we want to go to transfer or reset. So that's this button here. So we'll just click on that. And then we have this option here, which says erase all contents and settings. So this is quite an important one and it's going to delete all of the data. So make sure that everything is backed up before we do this. So I've clicked on this now and what I'm going to do is to type in my password for the Mac. So once that's typed in, press unlock and uh, it's asking us to do a time machine backup like I mentioned earlier, but we don't actually have to do that. It I'm going to press continue here and now it's asking us to erase all contents and settings. So first it's going to log us out of our Apple ID, all of the Bluetooth accessories will be unpaired and the Find My app will actually remove this from your Find My. So just remember that we're going to do that now. So just be aware of that. So you're not going to be able to use Find My on this Mac anymore. Then we're going to press the continue button and then we're going to go ahead and sign out of our Apple ID. So I'm going to type in my Apple ID password now. Press continue and then just wait for that to authenticate. So out of all the things that takes time, this might take the longest because it's basically removing the Apple ID from all aspects of your Mac. So that's ready for the next person to use. So now it's saying here, you're about to erase all content and settings from this Mac. So once we press the red button, it's kind of the point of no return. So just make sure you're aware of that. Press the red button now, erase all content and settings. So that's going ahead now. So it wants us to type in our Apple ID again, just do that again. And now the screen has kind of gone blank and it's starting that erase process. So we're actually at the restore process for the operating system. So all our data is deleted. And now it's trying to restore all the data. So I'm not going to edit it too much. It's actually a very fast process. Um, so just be patient, wait for that bar to complete, and then we can move on to the next step. So um, here we are, just waiting for that to pop up again. Yeah, so that, so that light will pop up a couple of times. And then we have this little progress bar on the bottom. And now it's saying activate Mac. So this is actually a process which is necessary every single time because the computer wants you to check that this computer has been deactivated. It wants to go online to make sure that it's removed from your Apple ID. So go ahead and click the Wi-Fi icon and connect up to a local network. So just go ahead and uh, make sure that you can get online. And uh, once it's connected up, we can move on to the next step. So it's saying here now the Mac is activated. It will restart in 56 seconds. You can just manually activate this by pressing the restart button here, restart. So that's now, so that's now restarting, that chime's come up. So now the computer is saying hello. So this is basically a completely fresh MacBook that you can use now. It has none of your user data on it. If you sold it, none of your data is going to get transferred to another person. And if you wanted to return this to Apple, for example, then this is going to be completely ready because the iCloud lock has been turned off and it's ready to go ahead and be put back into stock. Or you can go ahead and sell it. None of your data will be on it. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.